this uh new country rap trap folk music <laughs> artist like he he just has a, a great blend of Word. you know Those country and hip hop let's put Word. it like that yeah. Lil Nas yeah. X oh yeah you may know him from his incredible smash hits it just went diamond by the way yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. old town road hey, pretty man. quickly too pretty yeah. fucking quickly nah, I mean, it's, it basically started from a meme uh huh. And like people putting on um, TikTok, TikToks and thrillers mm. and shit, mm. and then it just took off. Mm. Took off so much, Billy Ray Cyrus jumped on the remix, and he ripped it. I can't lie. No, yeah. For a country singer, he did slide. Yeah. He slid for real. Mm. I, I was surprised. I was surprised. But um, and you know he he made a video for it. He's been on this TV show that talk, like he's just mm-hmm. been Word. killing it, smashing that song and everywhere. He, for no other reason, just being himself, piss off them country boys. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. And then, and then it's like, you ask yourself the question: What could this nigga do to piss off them country boys even more? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> take a wild Seriously, guess. Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. So, as you know, um, June was Pride June. Month. Pride Word. Month. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah like, June guess, was Pride Month. It was and, like, guess what, and, niggas? And you know, in the eleventh hour. <laughs> yeah, like he he snuck in there like I, I don't even know. But uh, the eleventh like hour, Dame Lillard, like Dame, Dame Lillard. Seven. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Step back and threw it. It was splash. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but on the last day of Prime Month, he decided I'm gonna drop this little tidbit that I guess he thought everybody saw, but honestly, I didn't, I didn't see. I, didn't. I I, I yeah. never would have guessed. Eh. That, but, um, but fair enough, we weren't looking for it. Neither, yeah. You're so right. that does change you're your right. perspective. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, looking for it, you know what I'm saying is. Right. But honestly, I mean, the, 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 little, the little hints, it wasn't, it wasn't blatant. It wasn't like right. blam. You know right. what I'm saying? Because so to to, the, the, to to say what we're talking about, he he came out the closet. I feel like yes. we're just dancing. Yeah, yeah, around. yeah we dancing. Well, like, oh, I thought you said it. So that's <laughs> right. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, not yeah, explicitly. We did. Yeah, yeah, Lil Nas X came out the closet. Yeah, he came out. Well, air quotes came out the closet. Where he did it over Twitter. Why air quotes? I'll, I'll, I'll explain my point in a moment. Where okay, cool, cool. He kind of did it um over Twitter um before, you know, releasing a song, Closure, which is an amazing song, by the way. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, I haven't listened to it. Oh, it's, 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 pretty, it. it's, it's pretty good. So it's like, it doesn't explicitly, you mm-hmm. know, say... You know, in the middle of the song, I'm gay, guys. But like, <laughs> you know, it's all like, yeah, 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 no, what it <laughs> Where it, it definitely talks about like being free and expressing yourself oh, how you want to express yourself and uh-huh. all this, all that stuff. You know, with that so and not conforming. Word. Yeah. You know? uh, which is I, which I just, is what I his career it, basically is not conforming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So and essentially, yeah. There, you know, we're we might say the words he. Is coming out, but he said things that are su- he really made suggestive com- um tweets essentially. Mm-hmm. Like he, he was, one of his tweets, I'm not gonna don't quote me exactly, but the mm-hmm. word used was dead ass. He said dead ass thought it was obvious, something like that, and he mm-hmm. put like uh the pride flag or what? No, it was, that was it was a rainbow. That was no, that was when he kind of like zoomed in on the fact that um that he kind of like put it subliminally because it was mm-hmm. like it was a um it was cover art to um his see, um, mixtape for his mixtape okay yeah. so where he's like mm-hmm. looking at the lights and then if you zoom in you see like the rainbow mm-hmm. um thing yeah it's like reflecting yeah. off a building or something yeah yeah, yeah. right 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 but that's yeah. the thing though like if you when you look at an album art if you're looking at it on your phone you don't ever really get you to zoom in not everyone you can I never saw it so but. I guess for someone like that, yeah. you know, you put it there for the people who are really intent on True. finding out more about you through your art. Um, but to just quote some of the lyrics from the song where I have personally felt um, sounded like he could be speaking from a place of. And, you know, when we say coming out the closet, he's just identifying as a member of the or what we're saying. These tweets are saying is that he's identifying uh, uh, to be a member of the LGBTQ community. Okay. But okay. we don't know, you know. How he identifies what part of the spectrum, so like really, he, so he, he says, didn't. He, he didn't say anything specific. Never said no, there's no specific. Could be gay. I'm by, gay. I'm, well, I'm queer. Well, I've, 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 I've actually I've seen him um um tweet like t- like to use words gay. Oh okay. Yeah. So it's like, but okay. and but he's then, hilarious too. He, he is hilarious. He said the next one you niggas say something about the song, y'all gonna get kissed. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I'm like, "Nick, laughs> that is, Next, yeah, next nigga to say something offensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nobody run it up on him. I love how this man said brand new. Word, that's, a, that's a gangster way to handle shit, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the, the first verse of the song says, and I'm, I'm not going to sing it for y'all. because <laughs> Brand new places I'll choose and I'll go. 
I know embracing these news I behold unfold. So embracing this news I behold. So I was looking at that like, oh, mm-hmm. embracing this news I behold unfolding. I know, I know, I know. I don't feel like it's time, but I look back at this moment. I'll see that I'm fine. I know, I know, I know. I don't feel like it's time. I set boundaries for myself. It's time to cross the line. Or, oh, hey, I yeah. mean. Or, but Once then, again, is it explicit because no. now we know? No, right. <laughs> well, that, that, right. that, can, that can be that can be you can interpreted in many ways. That, that, well, that, that can be that ways. can be interpreted. That can be um, applied to many different you know scenarios. Mm-hmm. Any scenario where you might feel oppressed or feel afraid to express yourself. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, but it's it looks like he's pointing it towards that. So cool. Word. I mean, uh, now mm-hmm. now the, um, we we know. So it's mm-hmm. like the discussion is like, yo, could he have done this? Mm-hmm. Like ten years ago, fifteen years ago, five years ago, mm-hmm. and like people's reaction to it now, you know, because mm-hmm. I, I, I've seen it's more supportive than not supportive. Word, nowadays. word. Mm-hmm. Like I used to see like if if there was a rumor that like a nigga was gay, like it, yeah, it was oh, like yeah, you were getting yeah. mocked. Word. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. On wax, you know what I'm <laughs> for real, <laughs> everywhere. Like so, and so, so I guess like. This this shows kind of like some cultural maturity. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I guess on our end, but then them country boys are pissed, and it's hilarious. Yes, yes that's the funniest yes. part about yeah. it. All. Yeah. Like, not only did we infiltrate you with a black guy, guess what? <laughs> He's gay. Yeah. So, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, like, I know there's like who's, he said infiltrate. Well, who's, top, who's top in the country charts? A gay black man. <laughs> <laughs> and he was that's hilarious. Diamond. That's Word. crazy. Bro. His Boondocks couldn't ride. Oh. Bro, oh, yeah, I'm, and, I'm giggling like hell, bro. And That's you know, I'm gonna turn on the conspiracy theorist switch in my head. You right. know, just quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, I just find it funny that you know he came out right before the Boondocks is about to come out. Mm-hmm. And Boondocks <laughs> is the one who predicted the first yeah. day rapper. Well, mm-hmm. well, click off. But honestly, <laughs> as far as like the dressing and all that stuff. Oh, I well, I, no, I'm, no, no. Of course, you know remember, Boondocks is a cartoon, a satirical. Mm-hmm. So, of course, it's gonna go extreme. Like, if he's gonna I feel like make a cartoon about a gay rapper, he's gonna be extreme about it. If he's gonna make a cartoon true. about jail rape, he's gonna he's be, be extreme, extreme about, about it. it yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Boondock, Boondocks episode was more talking about Young Thug than like. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's because it's the, more the, of a, you know with the purses, the tight tank right. tops, with mm-hmm. the um. Skirts and stuff like that, addresses. Cause you know, young so. Young Thug isn't like known. Young Thug and Jaden Smith. Word isn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> young Thug isn't known as like gay, but like if you found out, like you wouldn't be surprised. There's yeah, stories like, oh. that that Young Thug, you know, he's all effeminate or whatever, but he was like literally crazy. Like he's a yeah. crazy ass hood nigga. Like yeah. there's stories about him doing shit I don't with doubt guns it. and all. Well, I, like, I, don't, he's, he's just, I don't doubt it, but yeah, he's like, gay too. You know oh, I mean? you do not. Fuck, <laughs> yeah. You do not fuck with a dude who calls his gun a dick. Okay. Oh my God. He has he has a whole Atlanta saying niggas love yeah. to show off their dicks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple hitters with them dicks on me. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> I beg what your pardon. And then remember, yeah. Atlanta is a gay capital USA, so it doesn't make it any better. Word. <laughs> Word. It's either a really crazy double entendre. <laughs> or they or or watch. In it San Francisco? No, no, it used to be San Francisco. Mm. But you know, I'm not a statistician. But Dang. last time I heard, Dang, it Atlanta, was Atlanta. Gay in San Francisco, though, bro. That's gay, gay. That's that's, that's the one gay. I knew growing that's up gay. as the gay place. Word. It's a gay um city. Well, Word. well yeah, gay. <laughs> that means Atlanta's really gay. Well, <laughs> honestly, like, I mean, the black community. It still took a little bit of a while for the black community to start accepting that a little more openly over, you know, the largely mm. other communities. Or true, mm. true. Out in San Francisco. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. What? Well, or demographic. History lesson for uh, I Seem Black. Word. Thank you. One thing, black. one thing I thought interesting is, we, and I think you touched on it a little bit earlier, um, I see, was uh, the way he dresses. Mm-hmm. Like you would have thought five, ten years ago, people would have came for his head top. You know oh, what I mean? for sure. Just because of this man's wearing cowboy right. suits with flamboyant oh. colors, tassels, yeah. over, no shirt yeah. underneath. Yeah, right? like who is Word. it? Yeah. No one said nothing. Word. And now people are starting, oh, I should have known. I should have known. Yeah. We, we kind of. I feel like we kind of used to like flamboyant niggas. Cause yeah. I look at Prince. Yeah, especially yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Not only that, being from South Florida, Word. like they they yeah. run rampant on South Beach. Oh, yeah. Like you see that shit all the time. 
Wait, flam- wait, what are you, what I mean, are you talking about? Everyone went. You saw people that dressed that that way. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, as a musical artist, like yeah. they would have got torn to shreds. All, yeah, yeah. All, yeah. All, yeah. all of us went to school or have a friend or have someone in our family growing up who was, um, you know, openly effeminate. Yes. A lot, a lot, all of us have experienced yes. that. I'm sure. Am I wrong? No, yeah. no, of course. Yeah, yeah, have yeah. a friend. You Actually, know. had a, a a gay guy we went to high school with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like we've all you know been around it. It's just that like, but it was always still one of those like you know don't ask don't tell. Like it was like no no one ever was you know you never really talk to your friend that much and to say like oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So. <laughs> but every like everybody but it's, 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 like you know we we know like people is, people always said you but, know things but, like that. But, but. It's good to see the I, I personally feel it's good to see the black community being yeah. more humane. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because it, people like to separate themselves for our differences, you know, over mm-hmm. anything rather than like you don't you don't have to like or agree with the way someone is to still respect them and love them as a person. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Or at least love them as a person and, you know, treat them the way you'd want to be treated the same. Like, no, absolutely. And, you know, you know I, I know I call Twitter hell and the worst place on earth and it shouldn't exist, but a big part of that uh, positive support is from Twitter. Mm-hmm. And it's been, it's, it's been from when, like, it was just a meme. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they just supported them, you know, as a black artists mm. you know what i'm saying so like it, it, yeah it, it rooted from twitter like i'm surprised i thought like you said i thought i thought twitter was going to turn the stress not as mm. musical peers i mm. thought twitter was like oh this thing about no nah, but they embrace him like big time mm. yeah. right, right. he he i wouldn't i wouldn't i'm not trying to diminish his skill but he owes a lot of his success to twitter he'll mm. probably say that himself right, right. tons of it yeah he said one of the biggest uh parts of his biggest highlights of his career was when he was uh, trending on tiktok like, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, like that blew his mind. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm happy for him to see where he came yeah. from and how he he put in the work and you know. Yeah, shout out hey, to those, man. <laughs> hey, what yeah, yeah, Panini? Hey, Panini nah. go hard. It's that a song is hard. It's a, it's a so, I know Panini is a delicious sandwich. That's very pressed delicious, perfectly. Sandwich. But still, it's not. I, what does it mean not in mean our lightly culture? Toasted. <laughs> my, Cheese just melted. <laughs> Lettuce kind of warm, my, right? My, my, <laughs> slice that shit, Diane. <laughs> my, <laughs> oh, yo, let's my, 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 my favorite aspect of this whole thing it kind of puts a mirror to a certain aspect of a certain sub um, culture. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 You're talking about panini. But that would have been My God, can we focus? The perfect sub sandwich. <laughs> you, yeah, of course. You, 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 you guy.